<laughs> oh my god. The Jalen Ramsey Dick Riders, we meet again. I just have one question for you. Are you happy? Are you happy of all of this going on? Aren't you just so fucking proud of your Lord and Savior? The guy that can do no wrong in your eyes. Are you fucking proud that he's liking fucking Cam Jordan sacking Garner Minshew and doing his little mustache thing on Instagram? Aren't you guys just so fucking proud of him? Don't you want him to be here forever and ever? Don't you? Are you, aren't you just happy? Aren't you, are you really happy? Where, where are you guys at, huh? Where you at, huh? Where, where are you? I said, where the fuck are you? Huh? Is this what you want? Is this the fucking circus you want to keep doing? You like your own fucking teammate getting hit on Instagram? Are you shitting me? And this is justifiable to you? Are you fucking for real right now? I've been trying to say this for weeks. Been trying to say this for weeks. The guy does not want to fucking be here. There's nothing the front office can do. There's nothing fans can do. There's nothing Shad Khan can do. There's nothing his teammates can do. It's done. It's done. I'm so fucking sick of this guy. This is outright embarrassing. This is a fucking disgrace. This makes us all look bad. And you know who it's made, really making it look bad? Because I think Tom Coughlin and uh, Dave Caldwell and the rest of the locker room, I think they're about done with it too. The one person, Shad Khan... You're trying to have heart-to-hearts with this asshole and trying to talk him down from the ledge like, bro, it's not fucking working. It's not working. He don't give a fuck about you. He don't give a fuck about this team. He don't give a fuck about the foundation that was built here and what he could fucking do here. He does not fucking care. And the sooner you realize it and get value, get pieces that are going to help this fucking team, actually... The better off we're going to be. And is there even a dick rider left that can defend this? Oh, we need his talent. We need his talent. What good is his fucking talent if he's sitting on the sideline faking a goddamn back injury every fucking week? What good is he? What fucking good is he right now? What good is he? You can't answer it, can you? No, you can't. Because it's no fucking good. There's nothing good about this. The fact, like, I've been trying to not even make videos about him. The fact that I get something every fucking week about this guy doing stupid shit and bullshit is just a testament to how much of a circus this is. And Sean Kai, you're really starting to piss me off. When you first bought this team, I remember back in the day, like, I thought, oh, this guy's going to take no shit because of how you sniped MJD on his way out of here. When the whole grand sum you had to pay for him to stay was $2.5 million? But no, you want to bless us with the fucking great running abilities of Toby fucking Gerhardt. And Chris Ivory. But you'll fucking insult and snipe and troll a legend in this fucking team like Maurice Jones-Drew. And somebody like Jalen Ramsey, you'll fucking suck his dick for him to stay. And I truly believe you would. That that's probably what's coming next. This fucking faggot will hell hold a goddamn press conference. Hey, if Shad Khan publicly sucks my dick, I'll stay in Jacksonville. And give me the richest contract in the world. And, so, and I'm halfway tempted to believe that Shad Khan will fucking do it. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. Like... How can anybody defend this anymore? Say what you want about the front office. Say what you want about ownership. Say what you want about coaching. There is no fucking defending this piece of shit anymore. There isn't. How can you? 
If you are a real legit Jaguars fan, how can you defend this asshole anymore? You have one fucking week, Shad. One week. Before the fucking trade deadline hits. This piece of shit needs to go. It's enough. You gotta know when to say when. You said when a couple year, a year or so too late with Blake Bortles. Don't make the same mistake with Jalen Ramsey. I've never hated a player this much. And the sad part is he's fucking talented. And this is a fucking organization that blessed us with the talents of Derek Harvey, Justin Blackman, and Blaine fucking Gabbert. And I've never had this much to bitch about them. This guy takes the fucking cake. He's a fucking punk. He's a pussy. He's a bitch. Fuck Jalen Ramsey. Fuck Trashville, Tennessee, the inbred place that conceived this piece of shit. Fuck his family. Yeah, I fucking said it. I'm done. I'm done. Jaguars fans, y'all should be done too. This is more bullshit than we deserve. By far. Is it really worth all... Is dealing with this piece of shit really worth all of this to you? Is it really? Because I'm sorry. It, it, it's not worth it at all. Like, if this fucking two picks for... And Zach, two first round picks and Zach Ertz deal is true. What the fuck are you waiting for, Shad Khan? Take that fucking deal, build this fucking team back right, and get this fucking disgraceful Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, the next 2.0 version of that shit, out of this fucking locker room. I sincerely hope in my heart of hearts that every fucking person in the Jaguars locker room saw that shit, and as soon as this piece of shit gets to practice, they fucking jump him and beat the fuck out of him. I really hope that. I hope they give his ass a fucking concussion worse than goddamn... Fuck, I, I, I don't even know who. I'm done with this asshole. I hope they beat the shit out of him tomorrow. Fuck Jalen Ramsey. And I'm done.